Boys, what's going on? Willie here. Super excited to bring you today's video, which is how to path an 8.10. So as you know, uh, Riot recently destroyed, um, I mean, changed the jungle. Um, and basically, like, eh, the jungle as we know it has changed. Now, I know what you're thinking, Willie. This, this this patch came out two weeks ago. Where the hell have you been? Okay, listen. Willie likes to practice what he preaches. I've been in solo queue grinding a lot, you know, trying to figure out the best um, clear pass, figure out what works, what doesn't work. Um, and I've come up with four potential clear paths that work really well. Two of these are normal clear paths and two of these are cheese clear paths. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, the, the, the two big things I want to say right away is early scuttles level one through three are not nearly as important as you think. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is cheesing to get level two ganks off honestly is a great way to set yourself up for failure. Um, so I strongly recommend not doing cheese clear paths. Um, but I am going to present to you two cheese clear pass in case, um, you know, you're looking to like really get an early lead uh, because there are more uh, uh, viable cheese options this patch than last patch. But like I said, just be very, very careful. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to hop into uh, display capture. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take away the webcam. I know I'm sexy, but I don't want to distract you boys. We need to focus here. Focus, gentlemen. This is a learning educational video, okay? Okay, so um, we're, we're just going to practice here. And I, like I said, we're just going to go and hop on him. We're going to do the two normal clear paths first. Um, and, and just hear me out on these. I'm going to explain why these clear paths work, why you do them in the order that I mentioned, why, you know, the reasons why you do these clear paths. So the two clear paths, by the way, I'm going to assume your blue side for all of, for um, the, the, the entirety of this video. So I'm going to assume you're not red side. Um, so the two clear paths will be that these are the standard clear routes. So let's say you want to do a red start. You would do red, three little raptors, three little raptors, blue, gromp, and then you'll hit level three off your gromp from here. Look to go out in the river, potentially contest scuttle if it hasn't been taken already, or go gank top or mid, right? The other clear path would be blue, gromp, two little wolves, don't do the big wolf, and then red. And then from here, once again, look to go take this scuttle if it hasn't been taken already, look to gank mid. Or bot. All right, all right, all right. So I know you guys are thinking, Willie, why the hell, first off, why the hell don't you do the full camp? Wouldn't it be better just to do blue, gromp, entire wolf camp, and then red? Okay, so I'm going to be honest. One of the biggest responsibilities of the jungler is track tracking the enemy jungler. I know it's really tempting to just go ahead and do the full wolf camp. But if you do the full wolf camp, this is going to set you behind in clear speed to your level three by about five to six seconds. That's five to six seconds that potentially you won't be out in the river to get the scuttle. Or you won't be here to come potentially counter gank mid or counter gank bot if the enemy jungle does a, clear, does a cheese clear path or something, right? So I'm going to tell you right now, don't actually do the full the full camps. What the, the gimmick with these two clear paths is you want to hit level three as fast as possible, as efficiently as possible. So that way you can come out and look to gank, potentially duel the enemy jungler with double buffs at level three, just like it was last patch. Because let's be honest, um, a lot of the times when you do cheese clear pass, what's going to happen, like I, I'm going to get into this later, but a really popular clear route right now is blue grump scuttle. But I found a lot of the times what happens is the enemy jungler is going to come. He's going to do red raptors and then he's going to come fight you. He's going to have red buff. You're going to have blue buff and you're going to lose the 1v1 because red buff is super important when it comes to auto attack based champions. So what I'm trying to say here is this clear path, these two clear paths I presented to you are the best clear paths because they get you an early level three, they get you your double buffs, and they allow you to take turtle at level two, which allows you to come out of the jungle at relatively full health, right? Um, and I'm, you know, I'm speaking, I'm speaking from an Udyr player's perspective, by the way, if you guys don't know me, I'm like a master tier Udyr player, uh, but obviously whoever the hell you play, it allows you to go your farming uh, skill rather than your ganking skill level two. Uh, which will allow you in turn to come out of your jungle with more health at, at higher level, right? So another thing I want to mention, you know, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. So the, the clear path that I mentioned, red, three little wool or three little raptors, uh, blue, grump. A lot of you guys are thinking, Willie, why don't you just do red, two little wolves, blue, grump. The idea, right, is since if, 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 if you do a red side start, you're looking to play top side, right? Um, so what this means is since you're looking to play top side, you're not going to be able to protect your raptors and your krugs. So like, let's say the enemy jungle starts red and then he comes into your jungle. He'll be able to take both of these camps from you. If you do the three little raptors instead, the enemy jungle will only be able to get two, two little raptors and then the big raptor, which is a lot better than a full camp uh, clear. So just keep that in mind. So what I'm trying to say is since you're top side, you'll be able to protect your wolf camp. 
but you won't be able to protect your Raptor camp. So if the enemy jungler does come to look to uh, counter jungle you, he's not going to get a full camp. The same is true with the other uh, clear that I mentioned, which is blue, gromp, two little wolves, red. Um, if since you if you if you do a blue start, I'm assuming you're looking to play bot side um, for the first you know three minutes of the game or so. Um, what this means is since you're bot, you're not going to be able to protect your wolf camp, but if the enemy jungler comes, looks to counter jungle you, he's only going to be able to take the big wolf rather than the two little wolves and the big wolf, which will, which will, you know, deny the enemy jungle a little bit of XP. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, so that's, that's kind of why you do the three little raptors on that first clear. So like I said, those are the two best clear paths I found. Now I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to present to you two cheese clear paths. Um, this is something that honestly, um, I strongly, you know, encourage you not to do. I've been through the ropes, boys. I, I dropped out of Masters because I was basically cheesing every game um, and getting punished by better junglers than me, let's be honest. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, boys, cheesing every game does not work. So I'm just going to, you know, this is a, this is a do not try this at home, kids. But if you... If you think that, you know, you can potentially get a really, really early kill off, uh, there are cheese clear paths. So, like, I'm just going to go into it. So, like I said, now that we got the forewarning out of the way, um, the clear path that a lot of people do um, is you start red buff, you do red, scuttle, and then gank top. This works really well if the enemy uh, if the enemy team has, like, a Scion top or, like, a Myokai top. Somebody that is, like, really weak early that doesn't have a lot of escapes. Um, this, this clear path works really well. Um, so obviously you do red, scuttle, gank top, and then just loop back around, go into your jungle, do your entire top side, and hope that the enemy jungle hasn't taken your raptors and krugs. Um, because like I said, the problem with cheesing is if the enemy jungle does a red buff start and he comes down bot, he'll be able to take both these camps away from you. And then all of a sudden the enemy jungle will have a two camp lead on you and you'll be super far behind. So this is why cheesing is really, really bad in my opinion. Obviously you can do the opposite. If you're looking to cheese bot lane, like let's say they have like Draven, Soraka or something, and you know for a fact they're going to be pushing in the first two waves. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to do blue. Blue, Scuttle, Gank Bot, and then just go into your jungle. So that's one clear path that's really popular right now. Just keep in mind that a lot of junglers do that. Um, and obviously, like, if you say, let's say the enemy jungler does that. So let's say you see him do the exact opposite. So let's say your blue side, you see him do red, Scuttle, Gank Bot. Then if you see him Gank Bot, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go into his top side and punish him for cheesing, right? So that's, that's how you counter the cheese boys. Um, just be aware that that's a really popular clear path. And the other cheer, the other cheese path that a lot of people do is blue, gromp, scuttle, and then cheese mid. Um, so like, let's say you're looking to gank mid instead of an outside lane. Um, a lot of the times what people do is they do this clear path, which is blue, gromp, scuttle, cheese mid, and then go do the other scuttle and then potentially go into your jungle and then full clear it, right? This is, this is another cheese path, um, that's good for ganking mid. Once again, this is a mid cheese cheese pass so like if you're looking to gank an outside lane and cheese them level two you can do red scuttle top or in it or if you're looking to just do um cheese mid you would do blue gromp scuttle mid right so these are the four clear paths that i you know that have worked the best for me i'm going to strongly advise you guys not to do cheese pass because a lot of the times what happens, like I said, is if the cheese goes poorly or if the enemy jungler has a brain and comes into your jungle and counter jungles you, you're just going to be super, super, super far behind. Um, and this patch is super, super snowball-y, which means if you get behind as the jungle, you're going to be pretty much permanently behind. You're just going to be a ward bot for your team. Um, so I strongly, strongly recommend as somebody who's fallen out of Masters and I'm slowly climbing my way back up to Masters... Do not cheese every game because, quite frankly, it is a great way to set yourself up for failure. Um, so, with that being said, I kind of, as we close this video out, I'm going to kind of briefly discuss how to track the enemy jungler with this patch. The best piece of advice I can give you is wards now last 90 seconds level one, which means, you know, a great, a great way to track the enemy jungler. So let's say you're looking to play topside at level one spawn, run, run to uh, this bush right here, wait until about a minute, a minute five and drop your ward right here. This means until about what, two minutes and 40 seconds ish, this ward will give you vision of the river. This will let you know if the enemy jungler comes to do scuttle. It'll let you know what buffs he has, what his CS is, what he's looking to do. So like, for example, let's just take this hypothetical. Let's say you just do, let's just say you do the normal clear path, which is red, three little raptors, blue, gromp. You, since you're wanting to play topside, you would have used your ward here at one minute. 
Um, you would have, and let's say you saw the jungle come out of here with just a red buff and eight CS. That means he's done his red Raptors. He's coming out. He's looking to do scuttle. Um, that means, you know, like he, uh, like I said, he's got his, um, these are the two camps he's done. So since you're here, you can either gank top mid, um, you want to ping your bot lane back and tell them, you know, back the fuck up. You're about to get ganked because the enemy jungler is going to look to come gank you or go do his red buff. Um, or you could potentially look to like go take his Krugs, you know, just do the big Krugs, smite it, and then run out. Shit like that. So like what I'm trying to say is whichever side of the map you're playing on, just ward the other side at one minute. So like obviously the inverse of this situation is say you want to play bot side. Um, when you spawn into the game, run here at one minute, one minute five, drop your ward here, do your normal clear, which is blue, gromp, two little wolves, red, and then look to go play bot um, and see if the enemy jungle. Now, obviously, if the enemy jungler never shows on this ward, um, this means he's not doing scuttle and he's on the same side of the map that you're on, which means, you know, you can go contest him, try and fight him for the scuttle, um, potentially look to, you know, counter jungle him, take his uh, uh, gromp and wolves. Um, not necessarily counter jungle, just figure out which camps he's done, where he's looking to gank. Just be aware. You, what I'm trying to say is you would know that he's bot side also. Um, so he's looking to g either gank bot or mid. So just, you know, watch whichever lane is pushed the most. Either your, your, your mid lane or your bot lane, whichever lane's pushed most, just look to go counter gank that. Um, and just keep in mind that the enemy jungle is on the same side of the map as you. So like I said, that's the best way to track the enemy jungle early game is just that one minute ward in either this bush or this bush, depending on what side of the map you're playing on. I um, mean, obviously, just when whenever the enemy jungler does show, because there's so many cheese paths, um, whenever the whenever the enemy jungler does show, just make sure to look at him and figure out whether he's done blue or red or both, because that'll give you a lot of information and just press tab and see how much CS he's done and just, you know, try and figure out which 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 what what his route is. Um, obviously, if he's done eight CS, he's done two camps. If he's done 12, he's done three. It's just multiples of four, right? So I hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you learned anything, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about the jungle changes, because um, you know I'm curious to see what you guys have, uh, or I'm curious to see what you guys think. Because as this patch is kind of like settled on me, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, but I do think jungle's still nerfed. I think jungle's one of the weakest roles right now. Uh, but it is what it is. But I'm curious to get, hear what you guys think um, after you guys, you know, kind of like me after you put your toes in the water and you've played on it a little bit. So I'll catch you guys in the next one and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.